This is Tony Hendrick with Painting Spirit. Today's subject is going to be I Am Here. I like these little trail maps. Um, because they always show you where you're at on the trail. And then they just give you the so they basically say, you are here. So it's a little bit different than a treasure map, right? Treasure map tells you where the treasure is. Trail map tells you where you are gives you the whole place to explore on your own. So yesterday I uh, yesterday what was the subject yesterday? Tuning in. Yes, tuning in. And I told myself I was just going to take the day off and chill out. And I did, and it was nice, and I did get stuff done too. It's funny how that works. Get yourself in a, a place of ease, and then things just start to happen. Where I have a particular idea about something, and I want to set myself up a, a goal find that treasure make things kind of difficult sometimes especially when I don't have the treasure map <laughs> I want to find the treasure a lot of times being self-employed artists that can be a a challenge finding the thing to focus on for the day. So I started this week off with the first subject being painting, or what was the first subject? Oh, attention. I started off just jokingly with a Drill Sergeant at Dungeon. Had a little stick figure. Let's see, let's get this thing going here. I'm going to use some of that thick medium I was showing you yesterday. Maybe we'll play with doing a little layering today. You know, sometimes just getting a really nice you can kind of feel your way into a space just playing around with the the brush strokes. Different ways of laying on the paint. I got things pretty wet here. And what you can do to deal with the wet is sometimes scrape it off. Create some stuff here with that. Showed a little bit of a scumbling technique yesterday. This is a little bit like that in a way. I'm lifting up the paint underneath and then you can lay it on top.
That was kind of nice yesterday just to get into the the painting. And so I was talking about I was talking about starting the week off with that stick figure and wide shoulders and add attention with his salute stiff and alert and that really wasn't what I was going for with attention but a lot of times we have I do anyway. <laughs> a lot of times I have mixed ideas about particular things. Maybe a simple word like attention. Where I was wanting to go with that is basically talking about being present, right? It's funny when you think about, you know being in the now. It's kind of impossible to not be in the now, right? Try and get out of it. I dare ya. So that was my my conscious idea about attention. But there was another idea that must have been in my mind about attention and it's having to do with force. Grabbing people's attention. I guess I did talk about that a little bit. But today something as neutral as I am here and get around that tendency to have double meanings around something. It's pretty neutral, isn't it? I am here. I'm here. So yesterday I felt really good, actually. And today even, this morning, you know, I found that I was just more present to things. So I took that, just made the decision to tune in and basically tune out everything else but what was going on with me. And I found myself, you know, enjoying simple stuff like just making a meal or whatever, washing the dishes. Just it felt fun actually. So I was light about it. Kind of playing around with creating a, a space with this painting. Not so much with the color. Maybe I will. There's definitely different ways of Creating space in a painting. Taking something like I just did there and adding a little highlight to it. See how that kind of created this effect of going in. Just uh, taking one color and altering it a little bit. It's a pretty easy way to alter it with white. And 
five. Let's see here. So I got that car on there and I just sort of play around with that. See if I can shift and change it. That kind of looks cool. Um, but maybe something else going on with it might do something a little different there. Shape. It's kind of nice yesterday just to talk about what I was doing with the painting, right? I'm just putting a little purple on my brush. Kind of getting enough of it on there where I can lay it over the, the top of it. So kind of putting it on the brush a little bit thick. Sort of feel around, see if I can change that color and give it a, maybe a little bit of a, a different thing happening. Tend to, with these paintings, these 15 minute paintings handle my paint in a very similar manner. So slowing down like this. Don't have to change the painting so much, but let's see here. I do get a little impatient sometimes, though. Working tiny like this, I want to see a change real quick. Doesn't necessarily happen real quick with a tiny brush. There's a a different, a different way that paint looks. Maybe it didn't turn out the way I was hoping, so. A little bit of work that I did now creates something kind of different there. I go back into it. It's just about playing around. Kind of gave some volume to that shape there. Now let's see what happens when we bring volume into the other part of the painting. Well, that was a quick 15 minutes. I actually got my timer set for 15 minutes today. Anyway, so I'm here. Not sure I talked too much about that. Maybe I did. Won't know until I listen back to these. Sometimes it feels like I'm not saying a whole lot, and then I listen back and I was like, oh, I guess I did say some stuff. I think. That saying pictures worth a thousand words too helps. It's a little bit of a different way to approach my painting today. Hmm. Hmm. What can I finish this off with? A little bit there sort of helped. All right, I think I'm done playing. I'm here today and I'll be here tomorrow. All right, see you then.